Hello guys, and this is part four of our tutorial on creating this uh, holographic type of uh, watch. So you can see here, this is what we're creating. And uh, at the end of the previous tutorial, we we had got as far as uh, compositing our two different heads-up displays there. But uh, you'll see what I've added in in this is this um, flash of light just before the head-up display comes on the screen, just this here. So it just gives that kind of realism to the um, the fact you're turning something on and you see the screen continues with this glow while our um, heads up display is is being displayed. So basically how I added that was very, very similar to the way that we um, added our holograms. Um, but in this instance, I just created a circle. Um, so I'll just running through quickly how I did it. You just create a, um, a basic circle shape, approximately the size of our watch face there, and then we will um, do the same as what we did before, where we rotate it to get it so that it's is uh, at approximately the same type of angle as our watch face. Then we'll scale it. To get it to about the right size and then we'll drag and position it over our watch face there so that's the basic start of our of our flash then all we're going to do then is we'll add some um, uh, well we'll make it slightly less less opaque and then we'll add the motion tracking the same as we did before I won't go through that again um, you can see it in our previous tutorials how the motion tracking is done and then um, you can see I've added some blur, some glow, outer glow, and light ray. So I added these these three things to it, as well as um, randomizing some of the movement and randomizing some of the the um, the glow, so that it flickers a little bit, the same as we did on our heads-up display in uh, the previous two tutorials. So you would just go over to the library, and we would go to our filters and to glow and then we um, we will just drag those over onto our circle so we'll add the glow, we'll add the light rays and we'll add the bloom and uh, then our blur so we'll go to blur here and the type of blur that we've added was directional blur so we'll drag that across also. So you can see now we've got our directional blur, glow, outer glow, and light rays. So um, we're still missing the outer glow. So we'll just drag that across. So the outer glow allows us to create two colors. We'll start off with that. You can see the effect straight away. So our inner color will make um, a whitish color. And our outer color, we will make this blue. Um, and then we can adjust the brightness and everything of this. Uh, we'll go over to the properties of our circle, and if we remove the fill and add the outline, you'll see then we get this uh, glow around the outside like that. We'll put our fill back in and we'll make this white. So that will make our center white. So then we go back to our outer glow and we adjust the radius of this and our brightness and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize our circle a little bit so I'll use the scale we'll scale that down and go back to our outer glow and increase the radius and our brightness. Now we'll get our directional blur and we'll blur this a little bit in this direction. And we get our bloom and we'll increase 
the amount and increase our threshold there. Light rays. Also, we want to increase our glow. And on the basic glow setting also, just adjust those parameters there. Okay, so there's our our um, kind of basic glow effect um, that we're going to use. So come back to our circle and we'll decrease the opacity of this so it's not quite so bright. And we go over to our shape and to our fill opacity. We'll also knock that down a little bit. So this is what we're going to use for our kind of appearing effect. We'll use this fill opacity um, as well as scaling it. So all we'll do is we'll go to the relevant position where we press the button, which will be here. And we select our circle and we'll hit the I key as that's where we want to come in. Um, we'll then resize the circle so its scale is um, zero. We add a keyframe, then we come forward just a couple of frames and we'll blow it up. And then Come forward a couple of frames again and we resize it back down to our screen size. So that gives us our our kind of um, flashing introduction there that you can see. It's a little playing a little bit slow, but that's uh, that's basically it. Um, so that's how we create that kind of flash and glow. And you just play around with the parameters um, and straighten it up however you like. Uh, align it with the watch, add the motion tracking, and then eventually you'll you'll end up with an effect that looks something like this. And there you go. So that's uh, end of part four of our tutorial. I uh, hope you found this useful. Um, please uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and go over to my blog where you can also find the project files the motion project files for this and you can get your own heads up display um, um, motion project file as well that you can reuse in your own projects I'll be updating that and my next tutorial is going to be actually how we go about creating these heads up displays in motion ourselves so uh, thanks for tuning in and um, I'll see you next time